number two runner most of the season. A couple times he was the number three. That was early in the season. Um, Mike is the guy that if he arrives to pick up your daughter for a date, you do not have to worry one bit. <laughs> Um, he, uh, <laughs> he worked really hard in the summer. Um, I gave him that training schedule, he did the whole darn thing, and he was ready for the season. It paid off. Um, he's one of those guys who I wish I had one more year, like I said, um, because he really came around this year, improved a ton, and he had a great year last year, but man, he, he really had a great year this year. Um, if, and I, I hate to bring this up, but if we would have been in D2 this year, because we're now, we, as you all know, we bumped up to D1 this year, uh, he probably would have been an individual qualifier. Um, he was that good at the end of the season. Um, but we became a very small D1 school this year, and it's a whole new ball game. Um, uh, we went from probably getting second or third in a D2 sectional to getting ninth in a D1 sectional. So it's so hard for, for these guys this year. It was just a bad timing, you know. We, we finally came around as a guys team, and then, and then we get bumped up to D1. So that, that's tough, and I think the guys handled it well. And, you know, there's nothing you can do. Um, regardless, uh, I think Mike had a season um, that even I was a little surprised at, at how good he was. Um, I knew he'd improve, but, but not by this much. Um, he ran faster at every single meet compared to last year. He was our guys captain, did a fantastic job at being a leader at practice. Um, you know, we'd start our runs, and easy to be gone. Couldn't even see him. He'd be gone, he'd be the first one back, he'd be minutes ahead of everybody else. So he practices so hard, um, and that caused big results. Um, he was honorable mention all-conference, and he earned a spot on the second team all-county. Again, big shoes to fill next year. Congratulations.